Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 3, The Sleeping Dragon. We've fallen down through a big crack in the floor, uh, and I believe the sword in the stone is over there, which means, is this King Arthur? Maybe? Laying here? Potentially? Let's, uh, let's have a look. Perhaps being a knight wasn't such a good career move after all. Why is whoever that is perfectly preserved? Anyway, we've got what is obviously the sword in the stone here. There was an impression in the stone plinth that held the sword. Okay. It was the same shape as the Key of Solomon. Oh, right, okay, so we're going to have to use the Key of Solomon here, right? Touching it had no effect. Okay, well, we've got the Key of Solomon, haven't we? Uh, not, yeah, there. Okay. Whoa! Ooh, it's glowing. Uh, can we... Arise, Sir George. Sir George! Ho ho! Nice! Have we got the sword? It looks like we've got the sword. Oh my god, the dragon is like really a dragon now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, the dragon's not messing around. Wow. <laughs> that was, uh. <laughs> That was something. Doesn't give you very long to, to react, does it? Okay. Oh! Was that Petra and um, someone else? Oh, okay. Can we hide behind these things? Okay. I, gu I guess the moment we... Yeah, he's going to blow fire the moment we jump out of there. Okay, can we... Oh, no, 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 no. Back in, George, back in. Oh, God, this is difficult. No! Ah! Oh. Wow, this is, uh... <laughs> this is tough. God, you don't get very long. Okay, breathe your fire. Oh, this is really difficult. I quite like it though. I quite like that we're um I mean I'm not a big fan of, of action sequences all the time in adventure games, but uh so far this one's pretty cool. Quick getting cover! Getting cover! Okay. I mean do we make a dash for, for over there? Oh no! Oh no! I wonder if... Do we have to do it? Oh, we do. We have to start all over again. Okay, so it looks like dodging and weaving is the best way. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say it looks like dodging and weaving is the best way to go about this, but... um, God, it's very difficult. Okay, it, it might be that dodging and weaving is the way to go. Go on then, do your fire. Do your fire. Do your fire. Oh, come on! I was behind the wall. Oh, weird. It's like put us into cover there now. Ooh. Okay. Can we, can we charge him with the sword? Oh, yeah, we can. Uh, I've pressed the button. Oh, okay. Cinematic. Oh, yes, George. This is a pretty cool little cutscene. I mean, that was pretty cool, as what I assume was an end boss.
So this is like a play on the St. George and the Dragon story, right? Which is, is, is quite cool, I suppose. You know, after a show like that, you are going to be one major pain in the ass. <laughs> Nico! She's not wrong. He's going to be talking about this forever. I thought you were dead. Can you still not tell a wig from the real thing? But I saw the dragon kill you. Not me. That's Petra, Petra isn't it? She knocked me out. I've only just come round. So, where did she go? <laughs> Looks like she just disappeared. Huh? What are you doing? Watch. Oh, I thought <laughs> a hand was going to come out of the water and catch the sword. Yeah, like in the story. Yeah. Get real, George. <laughs> I mean, I look, guess look like King Arthur was down there. To be there. honest. Well, there we go. Oh my god, the music's very loud. Um, Broken Sword Three: The Sleeping Dragon. Hopefully, this is not going to be too loud. It can't hear me talking. Uh interesting addition to the series this one I've got to say there were sequences in it that I didn't like but there was a lot that I did like honestly it's nowhere near as bad as some of the steam reviews make you think it is the box puzzles are a bit too frequent for my liking a little bit annoying at times but you can sort of go with it the story and the characters you know everything about it is really good I actually think it's got one of the strongest stories in the series so far bearing in mind I haven't played four and five yet Thought it was really cool. Um, there were some really inventive puzzles in it as well. Things like the, the wine bottles puzzle springs to mind. Some things that really made you think outside the box, like the light puzzles and things like that. I quite enjoyed the change up with that. I just wish there were less box puzzles, honestly. But really cool that we got to face the dragon at the end with the sword in the stone and see, you know, um, see what I assume was King Arthur at the bottom and that they did the whole St. George and the Dragon thing as well. Really, really interesting story development. I liked that the Master Templar was back as well and he was the true bad guy and Cesaro was almost like the, the B-side bad guy. I thought that was quite a cool little twist. All in all, I'd say a worthy addition to the series. The 3D thing was good in places and not so good in other places. I'm not a huge fan of action sequences in adventure games, but for the most part they're okay. Some of the quick time things were a little bit unforgiving, um, but we can go with that. It's not the end of the world. And they didn't send you miles back if you died, it just went back to the beginning of the sequence again. So, yeah, not, not too bad, in my opinion. I quite enjoyed this. I would play it again. Um, it's not on the level of the first two games, obviously, but I'm very intrigued to see where they go with Broken Sword 4 now. Uh, I don't know if we'll get a bit of a, a, a cutscene at the end. I don't know. Uh, but we will be jumping straight into a blind playthrough of Broken Sword 4. We're going to be playing all five back to back. Never played 4 and 5 either, so looking forward to seeing what happens with those. But thank you all for joining me for this. It's been a lot of fun. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tell Me Nerdy, Paul from the Hunting Fellows, Lyle, Barry Oldridge, Hobo, and Numinous, all the support of the channel. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to let the credits run so everyone gets their name shown who works on this great game. And if there is something at the end, you will see it. If not, I will see you all in Broken Sword 4. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll see you all in Broken Sword 4.
Oh, okay. A hand came up and uh, and got the sword there. That was pretty cool. Uh, we've unlocked special features as well. Don't know what they are. Let's uh, end there.